I have decided to do my presentation on Applied Behavior Analysis ABA for students with Autism Spectrum Disorder. The five conditions associated with ASD are Autism, Asperger's Syndrome, Rett Syndrome, Childhood Disintegrative Disorder, Pervasive Development Disorder, which is characterized by limitations in communication, social interaction, repetitive behaviors, or interest. Applied Behavior Analysis uses Behavior Intervention Plan. Behavior Intervention Plan should include a precise description of targeted behaviors, how the plan is carried out, specific information about the student that needs to be known, the data system that will be used for the evaluation, and when the plan should be discontinued. This is an example of a behavior plan that would be implemented with a student with autism. Once the student has earned all their checks for positive behavior, the student will then earn the reinforcer which they are working for. Discrete trial learning breaks down goals into steps. The data sheet is used to record the student's progress. The student will receive a positive for a correct answer and a negative for the wrong. Once you get a percentage at the end of each trial, this percentage will then be graphed onto a graph data sheet so you are able to see if the ch child is making progress. The student must master a step once he or she re receives an 80% or higher and then they are able to move on to the next step in their goal. A student has mastered a program when he or she is able to generalize stimulus and responses into their daily life. There are many methods and strategies to help educators teach children with autism, but it has been proven that applied behavior analysis provides the greatest success. I hope this presentation provides other educators with a basic foundation and understanding of this mythology.